Hello everyone, this is Pampi Morandante again and today I will talk about statistics, more specifically about the mean, median mode, and range. Okay, here we go. Okay, to start with, when we talk about mean, median, and mode, these are actually measures of central tendency, which means these are numbers that tell us where the majority of values in the distribution are located. Look at this illustration here. This is an example of a symmetric distribution wherein the mean, median, and mode are equal to each other. And this is the best distribution of a data set, okay? But of course, it's not always like this distribution. They are also considered as skewed distribution. It's either on the left side or on the right side, okay? Now, to start um, our discussion about mean, median, and mode, let's talk about the mode first. Mode is the value that occurs the most in a set of data. For example, I have here, Suhail scored these numbers of goals in 12 football matches. We have one, two, one, zero, one, and so on and so forth. What is the mode of his scores? In that case, check this out. One is being repeated here how many times? It's five times. This is the most number of repeats in the given data. Therefore, the number that occurs, occurs most often in the least is 1. Thus, the mode is 1. Okay? Okay, I have here another example of the mode wherein it is given in a frequency table. Okay? If this is the case, the mode is just the value with the highest frequency. Okay, let's try to understand this problem. The frequency table shows the marks that a class obtained in a spelling test. Look at the table, the mark, the one above, and then the frequency down below. Meaning, um, there is only one student. The frequency tells us that there is only one student who got three. And two students who got four, six students who got five, and so on and so forth. But the question here, here, here is, write down the mode of their marks. So in this case, the one, the frequency, the highest frequency here is six, and the corresponding mark for that is five. Therefore... The mark with the highest frequency, which is 6, that the mode there is 5, okay? Up next is the median, and it is the value of a list of values when they are put in order of size, meaning from lowest to highest. For example, I have here the median for this, find the median for this list of numbers, okay? So to find the median in a list of n values written in order, use the rule median is equal to n plus 1 divided by 2. n is how many numbers are there in the given data. So in this case, the first thing to do is we are going to arrange the numbers from highest to lo from lowest to highest. So there you go. And then um, there are 11 in all, then plus 1 divided by 2. So the, mid the middle value, value is the sixth value. So in that case, let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There you go. 4 is the median okay i have here another example in finding out the median find the median of the data shown in the frequency table so first thing to do is to add up the frequencies and the total here is equal to 30. next one is to look for the cumulative frequency cumulative frequency meaning it's the running total but how did we get the values here look at here just simply copy two here in the frequency and put here the running total and then add up 2 plus 4 is equal to 6, 6 plus 6 is equal to 12, and so on and so forth. That's why we have 30 here. Next one, remember the total is 30. Just simply get the median. Uh, it's either 30 plus uh, 1 divided by 2 is 15.5, meaning it's in between 15th and 16th value. In this case, look at the frequency in the running total. The number here is 19. This is where 15th and 16th value is located because before it reaches 19, we have 15th and 16th. Therefore, our um, median here is 5. Okay? The last but not the least measures of central tendency is the mean. How to find out the mean? The mean is just the sum of all the values in the set divided by the total number of values. Okay? So another meaning, another term for mean is just simply the average. Okay? Now, to find out the mean, just sum of all the values divided by the total number of values. For example, I have here the ages of 11 year players in a football squad are 21, 23, and so on and so forth. What is the mean age of the squad? 
in order to do that just simply add up the age the ages of this quad and then the sum is 266 divided by the total number which is 11 players and there you go the mean is 24.18 in two decimal places okay we are down to our last one which is the range the range is actually obtained by just simply subtracting the highest score by the lowest score and the range gives some idea of the spread of distribution but depends solely upon the extreme values of the data extreme values that's why you have here high score minus the lowest score okay in order to understand this let's give an example racials marks and 10 mental arithmetic tests where four four seven six and so on and so forth while others marks in the same test are the following compare their marks so first look at this racial marks and a deal they have the same mean but the range are different racial is five range of a deal is three both have the same mean but a deal has a smaller range okay this shows that a deal's result is more consistent look at the illustration here where we can explain better the marks of racial and a deal the broken line represents a deal and the solid line represents racial these are two different distributions with the same mean look at them the same mean but when it comes to the range a deal is more consistent okay it's narrower than the range of racial therefore that's the reason why Adele's result is more consistent. Okay? Okay, guys, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!